What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, back to another video. And in today's video guys, uh, we are at my new place. This is absolutely insane to say. Uh, I, I told you guys I needed a place to work and uh, I think I went a little, a little too far on this one, but I think it was the right decision. I am aware this is my first video of 2022. Um, I know a lot of you guys are asking me like, dude, where did you go? Like it's been like 10 days. At this point, I think it's gonna be like 12 or 13 days when this video actually gets uploaded since 2021. And uh, the, the reality is we just moved into this house the December 31st, it's the last day of last year. We moved, we took keys to this place. We moved in. I know it's, I know it's, I'm throwing a lot of things at you guys at once, but it's, it's crazy to say we've, we got the keys for this place. There's a lot of things we had to get situated when you guys move into a new place to move a lot of things over the bills, all your personal belongings, trying to get everything situated to where it's livable. So it was honestly really, really, really hectic. And at the same time, we went to LA on December 30th. We got a brand new M3, which is right over here we discuss all that in a little bit as well we got so many things that happened in the past couple of days that and honestly it, 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 it's a crazy start to 2022 but it's been a blessed start of 2022 now before I start this video I just want to put out there why I came on a decision to actually get a house honestly getting a house was not my primary goal when I was actually looking for a new place to work I was honestly looking for a place that I could actually fill my videos at um, and honestly go back home to the place that I'm renting my place that I was renting is roughly about 18 hundred dollars a month um now that being said <laughs> are you good <laughs> eighteen hundred dollars a month for rent and then finding a shop which is about a thousand dollars a month plus utilities on both was just going to be honestly too much if you guys add that up just in rent alone would be paying about twenty eight hundred dollars for a little shop that fits about three cars and um, you know the place I'm renting with a one car garage in an HOA area, which is absolutely terrible. So I was like, instead of paying $2,800 a month and literally just spending it on rent, and I'm not a huge fan of rent because I, I don't feel like I'm gaining assets through my hard work. I was like, you know what, if it's possible, let's go ahead and apply for a home loan that I could pay up to $2,800 a month. I didn't want to cap over $2,800. think that was pretty much my budget. And even then it's kind of pushing it but I'm just trying to be blatantly honest with you guys my current situation. This is where I'm at right now and uh, I know this is kind of a really, really, really like fast move and it's a very honestly impulsive move, but I do think it's the right decision in the long term. And let me explain why. At this current economy, honestly, buying a home may not be the greatest idea, but for me, I'm not buying a home for just being a home. I'm also buying a home for a place to work. I'll show you guys the place overall, but we have a two-car garage, I believe a four-car driveway, which is perfect. You can park a couple cars out front and I actually have a gate to the backyard which I can ultimately put concrete end of the day move a car and trailer back there I can probably even assemble something back there to where it's a little shed and I can just park two more cars underneath the shed this place ultimately is pretty much a big garage with a nice living space and I am just so 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 blessed but yeah guys it's been honestly a crazy two weeks <laughs> me and my wife have just been unpacking it's honestly so 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 surreal having our own place I'm knocking on the wood I'm like oh this is our wood God bless. If you guys want to see a home tour, get this video to 2,000 likes. 2,000 likes, guys. I'll show you guys a home tour. And at the same time, if you guys are excited for the new build on this channel, make sure to smash that like button. This new build is going to be hopefully the next video on this channel. What you guys see here is a crazy, crazy, crazy build. Now, for those of you guys who follow my Instagram, you guys already know that I picked up a new build. Make sure to check me out right there. You guys will get the inside scoop of what's going on, on the channel a couple of days ahead because I always post everything pretty much first on my Instagram. That being said, this build right here actually was from one of you guys. One of you guys reached out to me to buy this build. Um, a huge special shout out to him because honestly, I was gonna be purchasing my E92 M3, the one that we rebuilt, the ones that we saved on this channel. Uh, but then he reached out to me with this one uh, for honestly the same price, but this one's totaled. Uh, but the spec is definitely worth it once we get it fixed. And on the topic of being pretty transparent with you guys, I got this thing for around $15,000. $15,000 for an E92 M3 that is, uh, I wouldn't say two totaled, but in an accident. And get it guys, it's a clean title. I think is an absolutely amazing deal. This is also my first competition package M3. When I first saw that label right there, I was like, oh, competition package. That is absolutely crazy. I didn't think it was actually gonna be a competition package, but I went to go buy the car. I literally just assumed it's an E92 M3 clean title. And uh, for $50,000, that's a really, really, really good deal, even with the damages. So I was like, you know what? I wanna cop this thing. I think it's gonna be an absolute build in the channel. And when I found out 
Scott's competition package. It even has the original sticker price. I was just so, so, so happy to see this competition package right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It even has technology package. It has Fox Red Interior, which I'm super happy about. You guys know me and my Red Interior. Do clutch M transmission. And a bunch of other things. This is also a 2011, which means it's an LCI. I'll be showing you guys that in a little bit. But at this point in the video, guys, I want to take you guys on the journey. So I'm going to send you guys two weeks back when we actually picked up this E92 M3 um, from Palmdale. We drove six hours to get this car. I definitely think it was worth it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's still two weeks back. Beautiful. That's really nice. What? That Guys, thing's gorgeous. We, we just bro. pulled up and it looks immaculate, bro. bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> home guys you have the f80 m3 we have the truck and we have the new build you guys saw this i didn't show you guys the unloading process because it was an absolute mission i have so much things i want to show you guys in this video that has happened this week it's honestly been insane but yeah guys we have a competition package e92 m3 i've never owned a competition package and i've never owned honestly a dct actually we owned a dct on the m4 but never an e92 m3 so this is a super 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 clean car it has the fox red interior and this is my favorite guys the e92 M3, the leather from the E92 M3 was honestly my absolute favorite. Also, my E92 M3 didn't actually come with the carbon fiber trim, so this actually came with the carbon fiber trim. This is also the LCI, so it comes with the CIC navigation, LCI tail light, and I just think it looks so, so, so good. Now, don't mind my hair. I'm getting a haircut pretty soon. It's been a little wild these last two weeks. I honestly didn't have time uh, to get a haircut, believe it or not. Actually, I probably could have had time, but um, I'm super lazy. I've been just honestly working on the house so, so, so much because I'm just super stoked. Again, I really want to show you guys the house but 2,000 likes guys we will show you guys a full house tour at least I mean not a full house tour but a good enough of the house tour if you guys know what I mean we did get to move my old appliances to this house I know they're super random but I was super happy about that because when you guys are renting and you guys are buying appliances for that place um, it's really nice if you're able to like transfer those appliances over because those things are really expensive uh, that's a non car related note but for those of you guys who are moving out think about appliances it honestly adds up really 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 quickly I got to bring my fridge over I got to bring my laundry machine over Anyway, I'm a very happy man I even got a little sick spot for the bike for you. I'm going to set up a charging station on the wall for it and everything so I can actually start riding this more. The gym is literally about, I think, a five-minute bike ride there. So, uh, North Transformation 2.0. I was in really good shape like two and a half years ago or two years ago, and then I kind of lost it, and I kind of want to get back into the good shape that I was in. So, uh, a lot of new things coming up, and I'm just so, so, so stoked for the opportunity. Again, God bless for everything that I have. I know hard work is definitely an important factor, but at the same time, everything that happens in life is for a reason. I just want to thank God for the blessing. 20 2021 has honestly been a very, very rough year for me, but I think it's definitely gonna get a lot better in a little bit. Hey, guys, we are with the United 2 m 3 Let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about that. So for those of you guys who are not familiar with the competition package, the competition package comes with the EDC suspension, um, these competition wheels, and I believe that's it. It should also come with the carbon roof, I think, but this one, they opted for the sunroof. I wish it came with the carbon fiber roof. It would've been absolutely insane. The biggest thing about this car, guys, the biggest thing, not that I've mentioned anything else already that's been absolutely crazy, but the biggest thing about this car is that it has 40,000 miles. I'm gonna show up the Instagram message right there, but when I got hit up about this car, I was like, bro, you know what? I really wanna get this thing. I really wanted to get my original E92 M3 because I thought that would be pretty sick to restore that uh, car once again on this channel. But at the same time, I couldn't pass up on this very clean example of an E92 M3, 40,000 miles, clean title, competition package. And I was like, you know what? I just gotta get this car. Especially since it was in California. I love California cars because there's no salt, there's none of that stuff on it. California cars also don't have any rust, so I really like 
Yeah. Now, speaking of California, like you guys saw earlier in the video, we took the truck, the Nissan Titan, which has been an absolute champ to Palmdale, uh, basically LA area, to get this car. But we also ended up getting, because my boy Johnny came, he got two sets of wheels, which is super crazy, got him for a good deal. And we also ended up picking up these two competition seats. What are the odds? We got a competition package, you know, two of three. And I found two competition seats for my F80. This car is not a competition package, but these seats, guys, are the F80 seats with the uh, the Secure Orange leather. This is a super hard combo to find, especially with the competition package for my car. Now, when I found this pop up, this is about four thousand dollars. We actually got this down to eighteen hundred dollars. Now, I know, I know, I did impulsively buy these, but for eighteen hundred dollars, guys, I can install these into that car. It'll look absolutely insane, and then sell my two seats in the car for about fifteen hundred dollars. And I got competition seats for thirteen hundred bucks. So I think that's an absolute steal of a deal. I just had to cop the deal while I was in Palmdale. Honestly, I didn't know if I was gonna do it, but I did it, and I had to. These seats were actually meant for the E36 M3. I actually bought these a while back. I bought these from Keys Motorsports. They actually sell Sparco seats as well, which is kind of crazy. And I was gonna install this into the E36 M3 build, but uh, yeah, things ended up coming up, and uh, this is where the money went. That also being said, guys, uh, my wife is out right now. She's doing a little bit of shopping, but uh, these are the current builds that are on the channel. And if you guys see cars are gone, it's yeah, because I had to sell a few cars to close on this house. I Honestly, the closing costs ended up being a lot more than expected, and then also to pick up this car and those seats. So two cars were sacrificed in the process, but ultimately we did fix them up, we did build them, we did get them registered, so end of the day, they were saved. And there's something I wanna sit down to you guys and talk to you guys about. Now for everyone starting a new year, every person that starts a new year wants to set up new goals. Now before I actually get into the big changes that are gonna be happening in 2022 on this channel, I do also wanna mention somebody that made all of this happen. Now when looking for homes, it's honestly very, very, very stressful, guys. I honestly, honestly went through, I think, three or four different agents. Um, a lot of agents are honestly just trying to peer pressure you to buying a home that you cannot afford. There's a lot of homes I was looking at and I was like, wow, those are those are nice, but honestly, I don't like it so much. And then the agents were like, hey, if you just put up another 50 grand or 100 grand, which I don't even have, it's all gonna be financed. Um, end of the day, it's just gonna be a bigger payment, which I told him I cannot afford. He said, you can get that backyard space that you want. You can get a, you know, a three car garage. Ultimately, I couldn't afford it. I was being peer pressured to something that I financially can't afford. And you guys have to stand up for yourselves, especially when you're going to buy a car or a house. Never let the salesperson pressure you to buy something that's more than you can afford. Because at the end of the day, they're not going to be making those payments. They're going to be getting a commission and you're going to be making those payments for, I don't know, if it's a car uh, five years, if it's a house 30 years. That's a long-term commitment and you guys do not want to make a mistake or make somebody else influence your decision. That being said, my last agent is the agent I actually used to get this house. His name is Jace Bieber. This guy is absolutely insane. I absolutely love this guy. He honestly from this process became a friend, not just a um, not just an agent for houses that I'm gonna be calling him or whatever, um, just to, you know, if I ever want to buy another home in 10 or 15 years. He's also a really, really, really good guy, and I want to recommend him to all of you guys as well. If you guys are in the area, and I think honestly he drives out two, three areas to the Bay Area, Bakersfield, a bunch of other stuff. If you guys want a agent, that literally just wants the best for you. I know it sounds weird. I know a lot of people when they're doing business and they want to sell things, um, they, 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 they want to get money. But at the end of the day, this obviously everyone's got to make their money, but Jace did it in a way um, that he made me feel really comfortable. Like, at the end of the day, he showed me a bunch of homes and if I didn't like any of the homes, he never pressured me into any of them. He said, okay, if you want this home, this is how much the price is gonna be per month. Can you afford this? If this is something you can afford, um, let's go ahead and find other homes within that criteria. He sent me a few more. Whenever there was a home I wanted to see, he was ready to put down everything and go see that house. Other agents were like, oh, I'm kind of busy right now. Can we do it tomorrow? I'm like, well, tomorrow I gotta work. So. Ultimately, this guy was very accommodating. He made things happen, which is absolutely insane. And honestly, he, he just was a very nice guy throughout this entire process. Never pressured me into anything and found me amazing homes such as this one. So if you guys want an agent you can trust that also does not throw like BS fees left and right on you, make sure to check them out. All the other agents too were asking me for like crazy closing costs and just telling me all these ridiculous numbers. And I was like, what is going on? They're like COVID. I'm like, nah, that doesn't sound right. So long story short sure, guys if you guys are looking for homes or if you guys just want an agent to sell your home or buy a home whatever it is make sure to check out Jace Bieber I'm gonna have his Yelp or his contact information linked down below so if you guys want to contact him make sure to check him out down below but anywho back to my goals for 2022 so I actually got two posters printed out for this year this first poster um, being an Audi R8 the new one the V10 um, you, as you guys can see there's a couple boxes over here um, the poster ended up printing a little bit worse than I imagined uh, you know that's what happens when 
when you go through the internet and you don't actually um, read the fine text. But uh, yeah, this thing did get a little blurry. It is what it is, but this is gonna be in my room. Now the blurriness could be taken as a negative. I'm gonna take it as a positive. I, we haven't really gotten the car yet. So it's kind of like a vision that's there, but it's not there yet. So um, yeah, we're just manifesting things, guys. Um, the, ultimately, the goal for 2022 is to get the Audi R8. Now I know that sounds like a very, very, very long shot. I never owned a real supercar before. I'm um, especially cash. The, the i8 was financed. Um, so the goal is to actually buy a 20, like a 2018, the new gen 2017. I think they started the new gen Audi R8 um, from Copar. Ultimately, rebuild it and own an Audi R8 on this channel by the end of 2022. And all these little squares that you guys see all over the place, these squares represents the cars that we're going to be building in the process of gaining this Audi R8. So for those of you guys who love BMWs, that's what we're going to be doing on this channel. We're going to be rebuilding BMWs, enjoying a bunch of different BMWs um, from X5s to like Z4s to M cars, a bunch of crazy things, especially like the E92 M3 competition package. We're going to be doing a bunch of crazy and enjoyable builds, enjoy them on this channel, modify and build them, but ultimately bring home a profit um, so we can ultimately buy our dream car. The reason why I'm doing this on this channel, guys, and I want to make this blatantly clear, I don't want you guys to assume I'm going to be taking these cars out, ripping them, doing flame tunes, destroying these cars, because end of the day, everyone has a goal in life. My goal is to enjoy BMWs. I love building them. I love saving them, enjoying them. But throughout the process, there is an end goal. And the end goal is to obviously have something that's a dream. If you guys look at the about section on my YouTube channel, I literally have right there when I started the channel that one day I'll own an Audi R8. And I think this is the time we're going to have to do it. If you guys want to see me be able to get this car, which I'm financially nowhere near in the means of it, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Because if you guys want to see me, a 23-year-old, make that happen in one year, you guys want to see the grind for the entire year doing a lot of builds to make this dream come true. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel because that's what I'm going to be doing. And I think ultimately it's going to be very enjoyable to watch. You guys are about to see a bunch of unique cars on this channel and at the same time getting a dream car seeing this man's dream hopefully become a reality. Now obviously my dreams are not going to be possible without your guys' support. So I really appreciate the support. I hope you guys continue to support the channel. I hope you guys like the goals for 2022. I also have another poster coming in. I hope it's not as pixelated as this one. Um, that's going to be putting up in the garage and and that's going to be pretty much showcasing every single build we've done to date and every future build we plan on doing on this channel. So for those of you guys who are like, hey, Nor, you haven't done a 5 Series yet, you know, an E39 or an E60, a proper one, or like, a, you know, the, even the newer M5s, the, the, the F90s or whatever, or the M6s or whatever. I want this to be the ultimate BMW enthusiast channel, uh, but ultimately with the man of your dream of owning an Audi R8. I know that's kind of, uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know if there's a word for that, but... Uh, I guess ironic is that my dream car is an Audi R8, but uh, I love BMWs. I, I, I'm pretty sure everyone that loves BMWs loves the Audi R8. Who doesn't love the Audi R8? I think it's an amazing car, absolute dream car, a daily driver, but an exotic car at the same time. And that being said, guys, I'm super stoked. I have a clear vision to what we want to do on this channel, and I hope you guys support it. But at this point, guys, at this single moment right now, I want to show you guys what's going on in the backyard. Let's go ahead and get to the backyard, start building that backyard a little bit because I have a shed in the backyard, which I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. And uh, that's going to be our new storage shed for all the car parts and everything so our garage doesn't look messy for the videos. We're getting a bunch of lights ordered for the garage. We're going to have some beautiful lighting in there. But in the meantime, let's get some lights in that shed. Let's go ahead and work on our backyard um, so we can have some, you know, nice vibes when people come over. We can have nice barbecues, sit down. The shed's got all the car parts in there. Um, I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be crazy. Let's go ahead and get into it.
honestly, I'm just, I keep smiling. Every time I look at this place, I'm like, dreams can come true. It's absolutely insane that this is even happening right now. I cannot believe this is my wood. Like, that's my wood. I am paying, like, obviously the bank owns it. Like, this this isn't this isn't bought cash or anything. I ain't a baller like that. This is clearly finance uh, far beyond my means in 30 years. But on the positive note, when I'm paying monthly, I'm paying for that. That, that piece of wood right there, and this little creature that's living rent free, um, yeah, I'm paying for that, and I'm super stoked. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.